What is going on guys? So another update on our Nitrous Civic build over here. Um, let's just dive right into it now. We'll find out what the problem was with the transmission. If you guys remember, I said I was having a problem um, with it not wanting to go into first, third, and fifth gear. Well, if you can see this linkage right here, um, it was actually popped out on top right there, just like that. Um, not sure how well you can see it there. You can kind of see that there. It was actually sitting on top when it should have been sitting inside where it, right there. And so since it was sitting on top, whenever I went to throw a third, instead of pulling on the cable inside, it pulled on the entire cable and it just wouldn't go into the first, third, or fifth gear. Uh, but we got that squared away, so that's not a problem anymore. And we can get through all of our gears. Now we just have to tackle our situation with the block itself. So I dropped the pan, we got the girdle off, we got our pickup tube down now. Um, and if we take a look, we do see metal shavings. So it definitely threw a bearing. Um, the engine still started right up. I drove it home absolutely no problem whatsoever. There's not a whole lot of metal in there, um, but definitely more than there should be. Uh, there should be none, as you all know. And so let's take a look at this pickup tube and see if I could position the light here. Ah, there we go. Inside of the pickup, we can see metal fragments. There we go. And so that's not good. We don't like metal fragments in our oil. Um, like I said though, it did spin over perfectly fine. It didn't really seem like it cared. Uh, the engine felt like it had full power. So I'm feeling like we can just replace the bearing and go from there. Um, keep the budget really, really low that way. Uh, or we can just take it all apart and see what the full damage is. Um, but, you know, we're trying to keep budget down, so I might just go ahead and replace the bearing. Um, another option we have is my buddy that gave me the nitrous solenoid also has a full F20B JDM long block uh, that he's willing to sell me for pretty cheap. Um, and we can either A, take the crank and rods out of that, and with my H22 Type S pistons, make a D-stroker somewhat out of that. It'll drop the compression down to around a 12 to one, maybe 11.8 to one. Um, and I can keep that, raise the RPMs up, go out to about 9,000 instead of my 8,000 or so that I'm at now. Uh, or I can cut all that out and just go with the F20B short block all together with my head. I don't really want to lose the head because it does have some work done to it. It has been to a machine shop. It has been decked. I had some other work done to it, so I don't want to lose that. Uh, I could just use an F20B head gasket and it'll work just fine. I've seen that work no problems in the past. Uh, great success. So I may go ahead and just do that and I've even been tossing around the idea of going turbo. Um, we can keep the nitrous build we have now, but then we are limited pretty much to the jets that we have currently. Um, I can only go up to 100 shot, which would only give me right around 350-ish wheel horsepower um, if I can squeeze a little bit more out of it. So depending on what the bottom end holds up with. Or we can go boost and get... 450 to 500 essentially wheel horsepower and really have some fun. The only thing is I don't know how traction is going to hold up with these little 205 Toyo R888s. Um, I may have to get something a little bit beefier for all that. Um, I do, let's take a look over here, have the start of a turbo kit. Oh, where'd my light go? Need the light. There we are. Alright, so... We do have the start of a turbo kit. We have our intercooler, we have our piping, we have our wastegate, um, 
and pretty much a lot of it right here. We have our sandwich plate, oil feed, oil drain, a couple vacuum lines, clamps, so on and so forth. So that's a great start. Essentially all we need is the manifold, the turbo, and some way bigger injectors. Because these stock in H22, I believe 340cc injectors, are not going to cut it for the kind of power that we're going to be looking for. The only reason they work for the 300 or so wheel that we're at now is because the fuel on the nitrous is supplied by the line right there. So we don't need to rely on the injectors to supply the extra uh, fuel to make up for the air that we're cramming into it, uh, i.e. nitrous. Um, on turbo, we're going to need way bigger injectors, so that's going to add a little bit more cost to our build. Um, but, I mean, it'll be a lot more power and essentially a lot more fun, especially if I could take it back out on the streets and do some uh, highway pulls, you know, some roll racing. Uh, it doesn't always have to be a dig, but, you know, digs are where I started. It's where I find the most fun. But let me know what you guys think. Should I go boost? Should I stay nitrous? Should I go with the F20 block? Should I just slap a bearing in it? Let me know. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you recommend? I'm always open for suggestions. Um, but like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And have a nice day. Peace.